Hey, what's up? Welcome back to this new video. This one is paper 32 of May, June 2010 for A level math. With that being said, obviously, let's move on to the questions we have for you today. Let's move on to question number one. So, here we have to solve the equation. Uh, obviously, it means to find the value of x. Give your answer correct to 3sf. So, one by one. Uh, so we have this over this equal to 5. What's the first thing we can do? Well, 5 is obviously 5 over 1. We can cross multiply. You will have 2. This one plus 1 equal to 5 times 2. This one minus 5. Now, what else can we do? We can send this over here and this over here. You will have 1 plus 5 will be 6. 5. So 5, this one minus one this one so five minus one is just four so you have four equal to six so finally we will have two power x will be six over four which is simply three over two or 1.5 if you want now we have two power x is equal to 1.5 as you can see x is as a power here it's on top right so we want to bring this down to bring this out, I have to apply log on both sides. Log of this, log of that. Now, now I can bring this down. Again, you can apply ln as well, no problem. So you have x. Log of this is equal to log of 1.5. So x will have to be log of 1.5 divided by log of 2. So let's see what we have over here. So log of divided by log of 1.2. So 2, sorry. That should be 0 0.585. Correct to 3SF. So double check. Log of 1.5 divided by log of 2. Yep, exactly. So 0 0.585 for your answer. Correct to 3SF for your value of x. And that is your question number 1. Now let's move on to question number 2. So here we have to do integration. Here we have x squared sine x is equal to this one. We have to show this will become this. So what do we observe here? Here we have this is algebra and this is trigonometry. So here we can use bipods to solve this integral. So again, uh, use the late rule, L-A-T, uh, T, sorry. Here we have algebra, which is right here. This is trig. As you can see, A happens first. We'll call this one U and this one DV. So U will have to be x squared, so du by dx will have to be 2x. Hence du is 2x times dx. Now here we have v. dv is the value of sine x. To find v, we have to integrate sine x. That will give me what? That will give me minus cos x. There you go. Now, finally, to find the value of this integral, we have to use the formula, which is uv minus integration of v du. So u is going to be this one, times v, which is minus cos x minus v is minus cos x, du is 2x dx. Right. Now, let's keep going. So we have what? That will be minus x squared, cos x, right? Here we have plus 2 outside. Here we have x cos x, dx. Now, as you can see, one more time, we have to perform another integration by parts for this one, right? So let me bring this outside for now. So again, this is first part. This is second part. Here we have x cos x, dx. Same way, this will be my u. This will be my, my dv. So my equation is, so again, u du, that will be 1 dx. v will be integration of this one, that should be sin x. So you'll be uv minus v du. So u is equal to x, v is sin x, minus v is sin x, du is just 1 this time, that will be dx. That will be this one, and here we'll have minus cost, they'll become plus cost, right? As you can see, this whole thing right here became this. Now we just have to replace this back in our main equation. So finally, we will have minus x squared 
cos x plus 2 times this one, which is x sin x plus cos x. And we have to use the limits of, obviously, which is pi and 0. So pi will be minus pi square cos of pi plus 2 pi sine of pi plus cos of pi. Now minus, that will be 0 plus 2, 0 plus cos of 0. Okay, because we should know sine of 0 is 0, this is 0 as well, so it will be 0 right here. Now simplify. What is cos of pi? Let's use radians. Uh, cos of pi should be the value of minus 1. That will become minus, then minus 1 should be positive, this one. Here we have 2 times sine of pi is 0, so this will become 0. How about this one? Cos of pi again, we know it is going to be minus 1. Minus 1 over here. Here we have what? The rest will be 0. Here we have 2 times cos of 0. Cos of 0, that should be 1. Here we have 1 as your value. So simplify and see what happens next. So you will have pi square. Here we have minus 2. Here we have minus 2. Now will be pi square minus 4 as your answer. And this is shown as required. This has to become this. And this is your question number 2. Now let's move on to question number 3. So here we have, it is given to you that cos of A is equal to 3 over 5. Now angle A is acute, 0 and 90. Now we have to show uh, your working, obviously, without using a calculator. Find the value of this one. Now, first thing we can break this down, right, by using our formula. So what do we know? Usually, when you have sine of A, here we have minus, so minus B. What does that give you? It will be sine of A, cos of B, and then that will be minus cos of A, sine of B. This is how we will have this distribution, or the formula is like this. Now, we will place this by A, and then here will be minus 30. That will be sine of A, cos of 30, minus cos of A and sine of 30. Right. Now, this is going to be half, as we know, right? Sine of 30 is half. In radians, in degrees, will be half. Now, what is cos of 30? I guess, again, we should know those values. That should be root 3 over 2, right? So, cos of 30, so root 3 over 2. Now here we know, we know this one, but we have to find this one. How? We can use our knowledge of triangle. So what does that mean? Cos of A, angle A, is 3 over 2, 2 over 5. So by using the right angle triangle, we can deduce that. This is my angle A. Now what is cos? Cos is, cos of the angle A is your A side adjacent side over your hypotenuse, right? Which is 3 over 5. So this is 3, and this is 5. So let's find this one. The opposite side, how would you find that? By using the Pythagoras theorem, which is 5 square minus 3 square, and this one. That would be 25 minus 9, that will be root of 16, and that should be the value of 4 right here. So from here we can derive, well, what is sine of A? Sine of A is defined by opposite side over the hypotenuse. There we go. So we can use that in our, in our main equation. So finally, sine of A minus 30 is equal to sine of A, which is 4 over 5, multiplied by root 3 over 2, minus cos of A, which is 3 over 5, times half. Now I'll simplify. That will be 4 root 3 over 10, minus 3 over 10, which is 4 root 3, minus 3 over 10. So this is the exact value of this one. Now what's next? Part 2. Find the exact value of tan 2a. Now, as we know, tan 2a by definition is what? It is going to be 2 tan of a over 1 minus tan square a. Again, this is just the formula we have to know. Now again, it is pretty easy to find tan a from this triangle tan of a is defined by what? Defined by the uh, which side over which side? Opposite side over the 
I just inside. So we have this. So just replace now back in your main equation to see how can we simplify this value. That will be 2 times 4 over 3 over 1 over 4 over 3 square. That should be 8 over 3 divide by divide. Here we have 1 minus 16 over 9. So 1 minus 16 over 9 is minus 7 over 9. So that is 8 over 3 minus 7 over 9. Now as you have seen before, we will change divide to multiply. This is the same, but the other side will be, we have to flip this upside down. This will be 1, and that should be 3. That will be 24 over minus 7. That should be the value of, again, we can write minus 24 over 7 for the exact value of this. That is our part 2 of your question. Now, hence, using that value, find the value of tan 3a. So how can we do this? Well, uh, again, what is tan 3a? We can express tan 3a as what? Tan 3a is 2a plus a. That will be tan of 2a plus tan of a, right? Over the value of 1 minus tan 2a and tan a, if that makes sense. So now we just have to replace. So here we have tan 2a, which is this one, minus 24 over 7 plus tan a, which is uh, 4 over 3, divided by 1 minus uh, tan 2a is minus 24 over 7, multiplied by 4 over, over 3. That will be minus 2, 2 over 21, divided by 1, here we have 1 minus, minus 24 over 7 times 4 over 3. 4 over 7. Simplify. So minus 2, 2, 21, divide by answer. That should be minus 44 over 117 for the exact value of tan 3a. And this is your question number 3. Now let's move on to question number 4. The diagram shows the curve y equal to this thing between the values of 0 to 2 pi, cool. Now its minimum point is m right here. Now part 1, we have to show the x coordinate of m satisfy this equation. Now, question is how would you find the minimum point usually? Well, pretty easy. We have the equation of y equal to sine x over x. Now, as you know, at minimum point or at stationary point, what do we know? dy by dx have to be 0, right? So we have to find dy by dx. This one is a fraction. We have to use the quotient rule. So dy by dx will be what? First write the base as it is, times d by dx of this one will be cos of x. Then minus the top as it is, and times d by dx of this one will be just 1. Then divide by the square of the base. Now we equate to, to 0. This will cancel out, we won't have this anymore, so you will have x cos of x minus sine of x equal to 0. Now, whenever you have, you have an equation in terms of sine and cos, we divide by cos of x. So you will have x minus tan, tan of x is 0, so x will have to be tan x. And this is shown as required right here. This is part one of your question. Now part two, here we have, a, we have a 9280 formula given to you. That's good to know. Um, well, it can be used to find the value of x for m. Use this formula to find the x value of m correct to two decimal place. Okay. Now, as you can see, the value lies between what? Pi and two pi. Pi is 1.57. Two pi is what? Two pi is six point. 283. Again, this is not good. This is 3.14 actually. 3.14 for the value of pi. Now, in between, what do we have? We have the value of, I'll take 4. 4 is between them. So I will say, well, let the value of 1, so let x1 equal to the value of 4. I have to find the rest, which is x2, x3, x4, x5, x6 x7. Let's see what happens. 
So here we have to have this in radians. Plug this back in here. First value is 4, so this will be your answer. Now here we have tan inverse, right, of the value. So here we have answer plus pi. Here we go. So the second value will be 4.4674. 4.4932, 4 4.4934, 4 4.4934. So as you can see, it converges to the value of 4934. So in the end, x have to be correct to two decimal place, which is just 4.49. Okay, and this is your answer for question number four.